Welcome to Josh Apple Games. I'm of course Josh and welcome to a different kind of video. We're going to go through Stadia which was announced earlier today. Um, this is my first video covering it and um, basically I'm just going to just kind of run through everything and um, give you my thoughts and um, I think it's pretty exciting off the bat. I know they announced the concept uh, a month or so or a couple of months ago but um, yeah, I mean, this could be, well, excuse the pun, a game changer, really, with regards to, you know, gaming itself. Uh, no need for a console. So, basically, I'm going through um, uh, Sadia's Twitter feed, and uh, I'll show you the, the, the games, or some of the games that they've announced, and the specs and so on. And it all sounds amazing, really. Uh, how they're doing it, I do not know. They've got some ridiculously good technology and software coding and everything that's gone into this probably but um so as the picture kind of depicts here we've got uh, you can stream to any device whether that's tv laptop tablet pc um or even phones so it's going to start with the pixel phones uh, pixel 3 3a um and then they're gonna i think support um new phones in the future but literally any device you can um you can stream and play all the games which are um, on Stadia, which is great. Obviously, there's a Stadia controller there as well. There's different types, which I will go into later. But um, you don't have to use a Stadia controller. You can use uh, an Xbox controller or PS4 controller so uh, or keyboard and mouse. So um, loads of options, um, which is just crazy. So the next thing we're going to go through is, you know, what resolutions they you know uh, based on your or your download speed or internet download speed so they got a good graph here so even if you are on like 10 megabits or megabytes per second you're gonna get 720p at 60 frames per second so that's not bad it's not bad and most people are gonna have 10 megabytes per second who are online gamers um, and then 20, you've got 1080p, HDR video, 60 frames per second, 5.1 surround sound. And then you, if you've got 35 megabits, you've got uh, 4K. Um, I'm pretty lucky I've got around about 100, I think. I'm on Virgin, so that will help. Even though I, I think it's up. I don't need 4K. I don't have 4K monitors or anything like that, or 4K TV. So it doesn't really matter from my point of view. But, um, you know, so 1080p is fine for me. But... Um, it's, so it's very accessible. This is they're, they're making this really accessible for a lot of gamers, and I think that's the whole point. They're making it all about the game and not about the platform. You know, oh, you know, it's always kind of been Xbox v kind of PlayStation. Really, I know Nintendo are in there for sure, but Nintendo are just different. You know, they're different. You know, with regards to their, the types of games. You know, the, the playability, their creativity. Um, uh, and the ingenuity really on on their software whereas you know Xbox and PlayStation are fairly similar with the types of games they play um, and the types of graphics performance um, and processing performance so that's why I kind of say about Xbox and um, Xbox and PlayStation and obviously they're collaborating um, together so they, they they're gonna collaborate and obviously try to maybe compete against Stadia so that could be the new kind of console war right you know Stadia against Microsoft and PlayStation and Sony I mean maybe that could be the new thing um, I don't know if Nintendo will end up doing a similar thing where it is that all their games are cloud-based um, I know my my good friend Will um, from Double Jump Gaming he's he's covered um, this briefly with the collaboration of Microsoft and um, and, and and Sony with the was a PlayStation. Um, he tends to like um, the physical games, and I'm I'm with them on that for sure. It's nice to have the physical game, the cartridge you can put in, or the disc you put into the to the console. But uh, to be honest, I am a, I am kind of a fan of slim simplicity and um, accessibility. Just just making it easy to access games and. Stadia are making that, uh, providing that, and this kind of excites me quite a bit. Um, so the, these are the controllers. These are the three uh, controllers you can get. So um, you get just black. You get what do they call white? Something like 
plain white or something just so it's just black something white and then this is wasabi wasabi looks great i love wasabi so i'm i i would you know i would kind of like to get the wasabi um so that's that so the, the controllers are great i think i think they look simplistic sleek you know the thing is controllers are much more much in a way um your xbox controller let's get an xbox controller up here up in here um uh, you know your xbox control there's my camera and then you got your i don't have a playstation so i don't have a PlayStation controller. obviously they're a little bit different you know so i mean xbox and you know your pro controller for the nintendo um for the switch you know that I mean, much of them, much is really. They're both really comfortable to play as uh, or play with. Um, and Stadia going down that line, really. I mean, that looks the, the material is made out of. Let's try to plug this bad boy back in. Maybe? No? Okay, we're, we're there. We're there. We're plugged in. Uh, there we go. Charge them up. Um, so. Yeah, they're going down. The, 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 yeah, the, the material that they look lo looks like they they made out. Of. It looks like like soft touch, soft to the touch, and um, yeah, very very elegant. Nice shape. Looks like it's going to be nice to hold, which is great. That's what you're going to be using. So um, for hours on end, it seems. So then they announced some games. Ghost Recon Breakpoint looks pretty darn good. Uh, I'm gonna I'll play this in in the background while I talk, but. Like this is let's uh, let's kind of get into this a little bit um, uh, and but it looks towards the end of this there's I think right at the end there's like um, you, little windows on the right hand side of the screen where you can see your like three so you're like maybe a squad of four and you can see the other three people's perspective I think that's great. It looks, I mean, so, oh God, that's, uh, that's so you're creating like the, the teamwork um, and, you know, making sure, you know, whether you're trying to ambush someone or whatever. It looks brilliant. The graphics are great. And if they can, they talk, they will talk about latency as well. They, you know, they, they said the latency is as quick as from getting to the server to your screen then it is that then that's your brain can process it from your eyes to your brain or something something crazy like that so the latency shouldn't be any different apparently according to, to, to google it shouldn't be any different than playing you know a console a local console on your tv or your monitor which is just in freaking sane I mean, and it's so they're obviously they've got these massive servers, um, which you know Google have been uh, planning this for years, years and years. I think this is part of it. I'll, I'll pause myself. See, look, here we go. Look, we got the the three people's perspective on the right hand side, and um, it's just so you can coordinate your team, coordinate together to get the you know the best possible outcome. This looks great. Um, so, yeah, what was I saying? So yeah, they've got they've got these massive servers, you know, farms of servers, and they, they've obviously got the the the, the hardware to, to do all the processing, all the the graphical processing as well, their end, and all they just need to do is send it to your screen, which is based on internet connection at the end of the day. So um, that's how they're doing it so it's it's, it's kind of crazy really this looks good guilt i kind of like this so it's kind of like this horror type um film but it's film game okay, i keep on saying film um well, this horror game but it's all kind of pixar type animated right it seems seems that way but it's it looks pretty it reminds me a bit of well, I just covered it yesterday, actually. Alien Isolation, in a way, where you're creeping around from these monsters. Um, and you see that in a bit. And you're creeping around, and you're trying to avoid them, and it's all very, very freaking scary. I know this is cartoon-like, um, in a way, with the, the animation. But I think this is going to be scary. I really do. And it looks really interesting. 
So here we go. So these are the things you obviously got to, I mean, that's, that's freaky in itself, right? That's freaky. So you're, you're just trying to, to maneuver and just not, I don't know, get in the, these people's way or whatever they are, the monsters. It's, it's kind of terrifying, really. But um, it's another good game. It looks looks interesting. So Stadia have got some 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 you know good things coming, um, and they got some big big names on board as well. I've read um, Rockstar as well. I mean they've got all of the big ones, like Ubisoft, everyone. So Rockstar is a big one as well. Rockstar is a big one. You know, having imagine having that just you be, a pickup controller. You can play Red Dead Redemption 2. You can play GTA 5, the next GTA, what, 6 when that comes out. Oh, man, it's going to be great. This game looks bloody funny as. This is what I this is what I will play as well, for sure. I mean, so it's a four-player game. It looks obviously a bit like top-down, but you're... So it's Get Packed, it's called. So Get Packed? Yeah, Get Packed. And um, so you're... <laughs> Well, see, in this instance, you're 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 helping, you're you're working together to, to pack a van. Boom, that's fine. You got the traffic. You gotta you gotta, you gotta watch out for this one. You're moving the car out, but watch out for the traffic. Boom. So, uh, some of this gameplay looks so funny and entertaining. This is great. This is just playable. You know, you just sit down uh, at home or with some friends or online with some friends and. Um, well, they are, you know, saying that there, um, couch co-op. Like, it just looks hilarious. And I think you would just have so much fun playing this. Uh, it reminds, again, it reminds me of a bit like, um, it's a t different, but like Overcooked and Overcooked 2, where, you know, you're, you're working maybe as a team or against each other. Um, it's that kind of perspective. Um, and But this is obviously a different, different type of game, but that, it kind of reminds me of that. So, man, that looks fun. Uh, that one did to kind of pique my interest as well. Uh, then they got the Division 2. We, we all know about this. Uh, you know, massive game. Tom Clancy again. Division 2. So they've got all the big guns um, coming to Stadia. And um, again, the graphics are great. You know, I just... It blows my mind how they can do this. And it's just, like, seamless. It just... I can't compute this skip this a little bit you know just ridiculous just ridiculous all of this is ridiculous <laughs> in such a good way it kind of makes me oh, just yeah really really excited for um uh the the release date really which i'll get onto late so i think it's in november but anyway we'll get we'll get to that like uh, this is a brilliant stuff i can't oh, it's really uh, I'm, I'm blown away and so it's coming out in 14 countries um, listed here. The United Kingdom, one of them. Yes. So that's always good. So that's when on release date um, uh, in November. There we go, November. Um, and then some more in 2020. So that's kind of interesting. So And Destiny 2, again, got Bungie on board. Just ridiculous. Um, I just, I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Sometimes I just, I, I get a little bit speechless, really, because I just, I'm trying to fathom the, how they do it. Oh, it's just great. It is just, it's going to be amazing. Uh, I think it's going to be great for the whole, I, I think, the whole gaming industry, really, because this puts the cat amongst the pigeons somewhat, and amongst the big boys, the big three. I think, like I said, I think Nintendo are a little bit different with the types of games they, they got. I think they're kind of okay, but Sony, Microsoft, they've got some, they got some thinking to do because this is gonna really ruffle, ruffle, ruffle the feathers um, of them for sure. So um, they then announced uh, or, or played a video of all of the, or some of the games which are, are coming to Stadia. Um, I'll kind of play it in the background here. Look at all these, you know, uh, Tomb Raider, the, the trilogy. I know, it's, you know, it's already out on, you know, all the other consoles, but, um, you know, they're, they're bringing that there. Um, they don't kind of name all of them here, but uh, they, you, you get glimpses of quite a few different games here. 
And there's not just one type of game. They've tried to cover, you know, first-person shooters, strategy, you know, fighting games, driving games. They're trying to cover all the genres um, on release as well. So everyone's got something, you know, that they would like to play. Sports games as well. Here we go, FIFA. And little fun games like um, Get Packed. There you go, Farming Simulator right there. So it's... Oh, Final Fantasy as well. Final Fantasy. Kind of stadia. This is just ridiculous. I mean... I don't know. <laughs> so... Let me know what you think. Obviously, I'm going to go on to a few more details in a bit, but what do you guys think about stadia? Do you think it's a good or bad thing? Personally, for me, I think it's a good thing. Uh, I think it's just going to put more competition out there. And more competition is always good. If it becomes a monopoly, that's a problem. You know, you don't want some something to become the only thing. But it's 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 it, the reason why I say it's accessible as well because they have two they have uh, a couple of tiers payment tiers. One is um, here's Final Fantasy. Look at this. Look at this Tomb Raider. Um, and this is the price. So I'm going to go into price now. Uh, do you have other prices? No. So what, I'll explain this now. So, first of all, you've got Stadia Base, which is free. It's completely free, and you just play, uh, pay, you can get a controller, or you can use your own Xbox or PlayStation 4 or keyboard or mouse. So you don't need to buy that controller, which is, I think, $69.99, so $70. Um, and so you don't even need to buy that controller. You use your own controller, and you just pay for the games what so you don't even need to pay monthly subscription which is crazy so using this it's like basically getting a console for free and you just pay for the games that's ridiculous that gives so much access to so many people for gaming and then you've got um so stadia pro which is uh 9.99 i'm not sure if that i need to check the uk prices actually so 9.99 dollars um and that gives you Stadia Pro. So it gives you, uh, what? Do, I can't even remember what you get in Pro. Let's have a look. Um, Stadia. Stadia.com. Where are you? This is not .dev. It's not dot, uh, Stadia. Stadia.com. Yeah, we don't, um, that's fine. We don't want that. We just want the, um, the, the prices, really. I mean, this is, uh, this excites me so much. It really, really does. Okay, here we go. Ah, here's the UK prices. So again, look, so the free, the base, Stadia base, but this is this isn't out on launch. This is in uh, 2020. So you get up to 1080p, which is going to be okay for most. But it's going to be okay for my monitors and my TV. So uh, pretty much a majority of people that's going to be okay for 60 frames per second as well. That's great because you get 60 frames per second in Pro. So no difference there. Stereo, okay, you don't get um, the 5.1 surround sound. But again, most people are going to be fine with stereo buy games whenever you want access to free games released regularly no that's the only thing so the pro you do get the um additional free games um so that's you know one of the bonuses of paying 8.99 8 pound 99 a month then you've got uh stay say your pro exclusive discounts on selected game okay so you do get in stadia pro apparently you will get some discounts on some 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 games so, you know, but this, not a lot of people, I don't know if people want this, you know, like, people won't probably be too fussed about the discounts or, you know, the free, some of the free games. They'll be just happy to buy games whenever they want, you know. Um, so this, the base, is, I think a lot of people are going to go for that. Why wouldn't you? It's free. Um, Stadia Pro, 899 I think that's, that's, that is a good price. That is a good price. So you get up to 4K in Stadia Pro. 
Um, and then you can obviously get some free games sometimes and then you get obviously some discounts. So that's amazing. I think that's great price. What do you think? Do you think that's a good price? Do you think it should be cheaper? Should you think it should be more expensive? I don't know. And then you get the Founders Pass, which um, was just up here. Again, 129. I think it's 119 pounds in the UK. Um, so you get uh, Founders Edition, which is there's limited time only and limited quantity of these. Um, so you get three months of uh, CD Pro. Um, and along with a buddy pass, so if you, you can then gift a buddy, um, I guess, th again, three months free of, of Stadia, great. Then you've got um, Chromecast Ultra, which comes with it, which is this, so you can stream it on your TV. Again, brilliant. And you get an exclusive uh, night blue Stadia controller, which you can't buy separately. You have to get the Founders Edition. Um, great. That's brilliant, you know? And 119 quid. And apparently all of these, um, all of this uh, comes up to about $300 and you're getting it for $129, £119. So I don't know what $300 is, is what, 280, 270 quid or something, 260. Um, so that's pretty good deal. It's just, if you're thinking you're buying a console for 300 quid basically, aren't you? Most of the consoles are 300 quid. You're paying £119 and you're getting so much. <laughs> it's, I just think it's just ridiculously good value for money and you're getting so much and it's just going to get bigger and bigger. This, this is just going to snowball. I can, I can see it right now. I mean, this is ridiculous. And then you've got obviously the record button. So you can capture uh, on, on the actual controller, so you can press that to start recording. Dude, dudes, dudettes, dude, everyone, just, this is just amazing. Look at this, I mean, look at this, this is great. Man! Oh, crikey. So, I think it's the 14th of November, right? Um, I think so. Let's look at the tech specs. Just look at the tech specs. It's just about the controller, great. I thought they might um, say about uh, bits and pieces. There's uh, what other games. This is if what um, I know. We've gone through a few. Um, I say you don't need the. There's no. There's no downloads. There's no loading. It's, it's just you just stream. Destiny two. We know about that. So you got all these Dragon Ball, Xenoverse, Doom, Eternal, Wolfenstein. And, Baldur's Gate 3. I, don't, I forgot to mention Baldur's Gate 3. Man, Football Manager 2020, eh? The Elder Scrolls online. Assassin's Creed. Oh, dear Lord. Borderlands 3, another massive game. You've got all the big ga uh, sports games as well. NBA 2K. You're going to have, obviously, FIFA. Oh, Germany Christmas. Um, I just... I don't know what to say. This is great. <laughs> this is great. So, again, I know. Well, how long have I gone for? So, 20 odd minutes. <laughs> so, I've gone longer than I was uh, hoping. But, um, there's just so much, you know? This is so much. And I think this is great. I just. I don't know what else to say about it. Oh, Tesla, uh, hey, it's a test my connection. See what we've got. Check now. What can I do? This is gonna tell me, guys. This is exciting. What can I what can I get? I mean I am um my I'm not hardwired in through Ethernet, so it is from a wireless card, so it might not be as high as I'm expecting it to be. Uh oh. Results time. What do we got? Oh, look at that, 105 megs. Yeah. Hello. Your connection is great. Thank you very much, Stadia. Um, so that's great news. Um, will I get the Founders Edition? I would like to. I think there's too much of a... Uh, 
No, too much of a good deal there not to. As I'm, I, I, but he's, hmm. I don't know. I like it. I like that a lot. But yeah, let me know what you think. Put it in the comment section below. Um, and again, do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? If it's good, why do you think it's good? If it's bad, why do you think it's bad? Um, what do you think of the games coming out? Um, do you think they could have done more for the launch games? Um, what would you like to see game-wise on Stadia? Nintendo games would be great, <laughs> but that's never going to happen. But um, yeah, um, and tell me, would you would you get it? Would you get Stadia, or will you get Stadia? I, you know, have you already got it? You might have already pre-ordered it. But um, it's exciting times anyway for for gaming. So, and this, like I said, puts the cat amongst the pigeons with the guys of the big boys. For PlayStation and Xbox, so they they they're gonna have to bring it. They're gonna have to bring it big time. And I'm sure um, my friend Will uh, Double Jump Gaming. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, to go go subscribe and check his videos out. I'm sure he'll be covering probably some of the stadia. And we are meeting up next week with the guys at E3, so I'm sure we'll be discussing some of, the, of, of a lot of stadia. I'm sure we'll just have a, a quick chat together. Um, on a video so yeah it's good ah uh, okay that's it I, i've rambled on long uh, long enough so thank you very much for watching really do appreciate it if you are a fan of games and let's plays and stuff like this please subscribe to the channel because that's what i do um and um, click the notification bell because then you get alerts as soon as my videos go live on youtube and click the like button, it really does help. Um, and uh, I will see you ladies and gents on the next video. Bye bye.